This video is on addition and subtraction without regrouping. So the term counting on just means you state your first term and then begin after that number. So if we have seven plus three, seven is our first term and we count on from there. So if we're at seven on our number line, we go eight, nine, 10, which is three positions. So our answer would be 10. So for our subtraction problem, we would start with our first term, which is eight, and we would count on going backwards, seven, six. And our answer would be six. So that's basically counting on. So we know our first term is six. So all we need to do is count the two dots afterwards. So we say our first term six, then we do seven, eight. And then that would be our answer. For subtraction, we are going to still use count on, but we are going to cross out from the first term. So our subtraction problem, our first term is a five. So we're gonna state five, but we're subtracting. So we're going to cross out and our answer would be the leftover dots, which is one, two, three, four. So our answer would be four. Five minus one equals four. The touch method deals with dots and dots in circles right on the number. So if you have a dot, that counts as one. If you have a dot with a ring or a circle around it, that counts as two. So for example, if I have one, I have one dot there. If I have two, I have a dot there and a dot there. Three, I have three dots. Four, I have four dots. And five, I have five dots on the number to count. So for six, we have one, two, three, but we have to count them twice because they have the dot with the circle. With the seven, we're gonna use a combination of both. We have seven and then we, have, we can count the two the uh, dots with the circles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we have a single. So that represents the uh, seven. Likewise with the eight, we have four dots with a circle. So that counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And lastly, we have four dots with a circle that gets us to eight, and then we have a single one which gets us to nine. So that is how you use the touch method is to have the dots and the dots in the circle right on the number. So using the touch method, I have my uh, pen in blue. So I'm just going to count the numbers. Again, we'll use counting on. So we know our first term is three and we can count on from there. So we would have four, five. So our answer would be five. Likewise, when we're subtracting, we know our first term is eight and we're subtracting. So we're going to have we say eight and then we're going backwards. So our first number backwards would be seven. And so eight minus one would equal seven. So now we're going to look at the vertical 
math process. And basically that's basically putting the numbers on top of one another. In this case, we have the tens column and the ones column. And we always start with the ones column. We're going to use the touch method um, to calculate the answers to this. So for the first additional problem, we have 52 plus 31. So we're starting in the ones column and you can also do your counting on the two at the top. We state the two and then we start with the next number, which would be three. So in our ones column, we would write our three here at the bottom. Then we go to our tens column and we, we state our first term, which is five. And then we count on from there. So we have six, seven, eight. So our answer would be 83 for that one. Likewise, we do the same with subtraction. We start in the ones column and we have our first term is eight. And then we count backwards from there. Seven, six, five. So in the one co ones column, we have our five. And then in the tens column, our first term is four. And we are counting backwards from four. So that would be three. And three would go in the tens column. So there you have it. 48 minus 13 would yield 35. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.